So a little backstory on this. Right when I crossed the county line or the city line of this town that I was in, when I was leaving my buddy's house, this guy, I saw him sitting and waiting, and he pulls out behind me. He's just following me, and then I move over in the left lane, and I'm going below the speed limit. I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. I don't have time for this. And then he pulls me over, or he turns on his lights, and I get mad because I'm like, I didn't even do anything. So I didn't know exactly what to do. There's nowhere to really pull over. So I kind of just kept driving. And then I just turned on this gas station. Kind of, I was going to go into the one across the street. But I'm like, no, I'll just go into this one. So I kind of swerved into that one. And after all this, I got a warning, guys. Don't worry. I got a warning. But this guy turned out to be really cool. Shows you not all cops are bad. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Yes, sir. Hey, boy, I'm Officer Pullen. I'm Coons Police Department. Reasonable stop. You failed to maintain a single lane back here. Oh. Cross over the line. You failed to maintain a single lane back here. You cross over the line. Which line? The yellow line. Oh, I didn't, the didn't see it. Yeah. I'm not from this area, so. You're not from this area? Where are you from? Well, I live all the yeah. I don't come out here much. So you don't come out here much? No, you got sir. a driver's license proof of insurance? Yes, sir. There's no weapons or anything in the car. I got you a got clean... nothing in the car at all? No, sir. I got a clean record, too. Okay. It took you a while to pull over, so. Well, I guess I'm not familiar with the area, so I didn't want to just, like, you know, just sling it across. So I just. Well, you kind of slung it a little bit. I was trying to, I didn't want you to think I was ignoring you. Okay. You can check if you want. I mean, there's nothing in the trunk. Nothing in the... You want to step out so I can check it real quick? All right. Throw in the wallet in my hand. He's right there. What's in your pocket? Throw in the wallet. What's in the front of your pocket? Oh, keys. Sorry. Okay. That's it. You ain't got nothing else on you? You ain't got any weapons or no, nothing sir. like that? No, sir. All right, go stand right here, bro. I'm the front of your car. Man. You race this thing? Track. Track. How fast? 105. 105? 12.5. Oh, 12.5? Yeah, the, the trap is a 111. Oh, okay. But it runs 12.5 and a quarter mile. Gotcha. What's your top speed? Well, how high will it go? How fast have you gone? Like 75. 111? In the track, yeah. Is it maxed out? No, the Nissan says the governor's limited to 155. That's what the governor says it's at. You've never taken it that fast? No. Why not? Because that's illegal. I don't do that. I the only thing you'll find in there is receipts. I'm just trying to get home. Sir? You're going to make it. Alright. You ever been in any kind of trouble? No, sir. I got a clean record. Never been pulled over in this car. Had it since March. No issues. No. Why? Oh, that's because I took apart the dash. Or, I took apart the, I just changed my airbox filter so I didn't take all this apart. Got you. I appreciate it, man. It's been a dream car for a while. What year? 14. 14? Yes, sir. I'd have drove this thing as fast as it would have ran, and I'd have still been holding it on the floor. Nah, I, it's my baby, it's all I got. It's not worth it. They would just buy you a new one. I just don't like beating on it. If I had a sports car, I'd, yeah. I wouldn't run it all the time like that, but yeah. I would know what it was like and what it could do. You get used to it. Have you ever gone 200 miles an hour? Uh, no. No? No. I've been uh, close. I've been in a buddy's car. He went 190. That's about as close that as I'll get. Huh? That ain't close. It's 10 miles. That ain't close. Everything come up good? <coughs> yeah, I haven't run you yet, though. 106 is gonna get a text 27. Did you paint those? Yeah, it didn't stay on that long. It's hard to keep it on. I've been trying to find a paint that'll stay on it. How new are your tires? Uh, like three weeks old. 106, we're trying to join. Out of. It'll be held one clear. In 2022, no 29. I like it. Appreciate this used it. to be one of my dream cars. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I like the Camaro. The Camaro's fun. Yeah. Camaro, oh. the Z28. Yeah. <coughs> if cops got paid good, I would have one. You know, if you move, you got 30 days to change it. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah no, you got a switch car, man. I appreciate it, man. It's, uh, it's rare to see. I don't know, yeah. It's cars like this. People, I, when they. Call, <coughs> I don't ever see these no more. <coughs> what kind of exhaust you got? It's got a Rev9, uh, it's just single exit, the car is tuned, 
Um, it'll shoot fire and all that. It sounds good. I appreciate it. It'll shoot fire. Yeah. I got a video I can show you. I don't know. I've, ne yeah. I've never felt it after yeah. the fire, honestly. But uh, hmm. yeah, that's crazy, man. No, I man, the last time I seen one of these was probably two years ago. Really? Yeah. Uh, they're they're not, rare. They're rare. And there's a couple of them. That's how you, my, don't, you don't see these. That's how my buddy in Woodville. He'll be like, "There's nothing up here." Like he's like, yeah. "Your car sticks out." Yeah. I'm like, yeah. there's a couple of cars that stick out up there in Woodville, but I've got a buddy. He's got a Hayabusa. All right, let's see. But move. his is uh, his is customized. He raced professionally on it, and uh, those things already move faster, soon, man. Yeah, as soon as he uh, hits the gas, his nitrous goes. He'll stand that bike up right up the line. But uh, no, Gosh. I've been I've been 205. That's how fast I've been. So I was on a motorcycle. I'm I'm Gosh. an adrenaline junkie though. Uh, we shut down the loop in Lufkin to do it. Oh okay. Yeah, so I was on a it. Yamaha R1. Uh, and uh, it was at one o'clock in the morning and we shut down the entrance ramps. I was going so fast that the lines, these stripe lines were solid. Oh my god! It gosh. was completely solid. And yeah, I've seen uh, videos of that on YouTube. Like, everything geez. was blurry. You couldn't see nothing. Like you couldn't see straight like this. Everything was yeah. a blur. Man, I've been shot at. Uh, I was shot at my third day here with, uh, oh my gosh. I almost got shot at right here. But uh, he decided he wanted to lead me into a pursuit, and uh, he smoked me because I can only go 105. Really? Yeah. That and this this trip is not that long. Uh, no, I will pursue you outside the oh, city you limits. Oh, you do that? I will. Yes. Uh, oh. Okay. I will call my chief at 105 miles an hour with one hand on the steering wheel and one hand on the phone and tell him, "Hey, I'm, I'm going after you. somebody right now." Uh, I'm trying to keep up with them, or I'm keeping up with them. I'm just letting you know, like, hey. <laughs> Shit's about to hit the fan. We're gonna have some yeah. fun tonight. I want to charge her, man. Bad. Okay, 392, that's the way to go. Yeah. Don't get that 57, dude. No. <coughs> garbage. Yeah. Hit you up. Yeah. I work every Wednesday through Friday, every other Saturday. This week's my long week, so okay. I work Saturday night and then I'll be here. I appreciate but, uh, it. Uh, oh, Jordan. Yeah. Josh. Right. Nice to meet you both. Nice hey, be careful you. and have a Merry Christmas. You too. That cop pulled me over because he likes my car. I don't know if I got it on film, but he's like, your car sounds amazing. Definitely an unexpected video that I make, that I made. And there he goes. That was a pretty cool guy. Oh yeah, another reason he searched my car, which was just bad timing for me. This car's had a freaking smell in it that I can't get out. And I over scented it. I changed the air filter. And I changed the cabin air filter and it like oversensed it, like put that car spray in here so the smell is really strong in here. And then he told me whenever he smells stuff that's really strong like that, he always searches the car. And I'm like, oh, well that sucks. I'm like, well here's why my car smells like this. So that was just kind of funny, but shout out to that cop. He's a really cool dude uh, for being chill. He was kind of aggressive at first, but I'm always aggressive when I get pulled over because I want to know why I'm pulled over and I didn't even do anything. I didn't even move out of my lane too. So I was already kind of annoyed, but uh, just goes to show you not all cops are bad. The guy was actually really cool. So shout out to him. And uh, yeah, I never thought I'd be making one of these kind of videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about that. That was pretty, pretty interesting. And that did quite a 180, honestly. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I showed him this picture and I showed him this video and he's like, oh my gosh, dude, that's freaking awesome. I'm like, yeah, not too many naturally aspirated cars can actually do that. So a lot of people get surprised when they see my car can do that. And then um, I told him how this car is literally the 13th fastest naturally aspirated 370Z in the world in the, in the quarter mile. And he's like, really? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna be taking the passenger seat out and doing on a quarter tank of gas and try to get a 12.4, but 
Yeah, I was being straight up with him, so he was a really cool dude. Yeah. 